New event, new city, new surface, new tennis balls. We're breaking down what the pros are saying about countless ball changes from week to week and how it's affecting their health. Plus, it's Friday in Miami. We're getting ready for the night matches at Hard Rock Stadium. The break, it starts right now. What's up everyone, Aaron Coscarelli here. You are watching The Break. This week, Tennis.com editor Stephanie Lividay wrote an article about why the Sunshine Double winning Indian Wells and Miami in the same year is so difficult. More specifically, why the ball change from Indian Wells to Miami makes the transition even harder on the players. Now, in Indian Wells, the players use pen balls, while in Miami, Dunlop are used. The change in balls from one week to the next affects how pros string their rackets and potentially it contributes to ongoing wrist and arm injuries. With so many different balls, it's hard for the players' bodies to acclimate and train to avoid those injuries. Jessica Pagula, for example, opened up about the issue in her pre-tournament press conference in Miami this week, saying, quote, the conditions are just night and day, and throwing a totally different ball when you're already having to change your tension and all this stuff on top of that, it's not ideal. I've gone through like 20 string tensions in practice. We're all feeling the same thing. Stan Rowinka posted this to his Instagram recently, highlighting the constant change in ball selections by various tournaments. And Taylor Fritz said that comparing one event to another, even if they were in the same part of the world, was impossible because the ball change makes the conditions too inconsistent. Outside of the inconsistency, the quality of the ball has come into question as well. Rowinka shared this photo of two pen balls used in Indian Wells. The one on the left had been used in one rally. The gritty surface in the desert fluffs up the ball, making it move slower through the air and harder to hit. So, what is the solution here? Should the tours agree on one ball for the entire season? Different balls for different surfaces? Or maybe the ball change is just part of the game? Let us know. All right, we are heading into weekend one at the Miami Open, and here are the Friday night matches you should keep an eye on, weather permitting. Indian Wells champ Iga Swiatek will be playing hard-hitting Camilla Giorgi at 7 p.m. Eastern. Camilla has 17 top 10 wins in her career, but Iga will not make it easy as she hasn't lost a set since before Indian Wells. Over on Grandstand, Francis Tiafo facing Aussie Chris O'Connell for a spot in the third round, and that match also begins at 7 p.m. Eastern. And finally, at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, the defending champ on the men's side takes the court as Daniil Medvedev is slated to face Martin Fuksovic. Live daily action from the Miami Open begins 11 a.m. Eastern time on 10 channel. We will see you tomorrow.